I got back to the hotel room, I cooked, and then I was thinking about uh, what I wanted to talk to you guys about today. And a lot of people on YouTube have been asking me lately, I've been getting the question throughout my relationship, Adam has gotten it actually more than me, but um, about uh, conjugal visits and about children in our future. So I've, I've answered the questions, um, you know, in text as I get them, but I figured it was worth making a video about. So uh, first of all, are there conjugal visits in federal system and do we get them and the answer is no 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 federal inmate gets conjugal visits it is not allowed in the conjugal system I mean <laughs> in the federal system um, the only uh, it's uh, not allowed in almost every state system either there are only that I know of and I could be incorrect so if you know any differently correct me if I'm wrong in a comment below but um, there are only three states that I am aware of that do allow conjugal visits um, the, it, they're in New York, California, and Nevada. Like I said, this is coming, this information is coming from Adam from a couple of years ago, and I never asked him to update me because obviously it doesn't affect us. So, um, if you know differently, if you're in a different state and you get them, just comment below and let us know. It's something we could all Google if we really wanted to. But, um, as I am aware, uh, right now it is New York, California, and Nevada are the only states that allow conjugal visits. Um. And it's funny, you know, I was saying to Adam today, I was like, you know, people, I keep getting this question constantly. He's like, I get it all the time too. And I'm like, how, why? Hello? Because he's like, I get it in here all the time too. And I was like, that's strange. Why the hell would you get it in here? And he was like, no, no, no. I mean, people on the outside ask him all the time. Like some of his friends cannot comprehend how he can go without. He was like, you know, he had this one friend who we love dearly. And um, he said that his friend is like he was more flabbergasted at the fact that he doesn't get conjugal visits um than the length of his sentence itself and he we always joke about that and we laugh about it but um no unfortunately there aren't any conjugal visits so do we have an open relationship no we don't um you know i don't have other boyfriends i don't want another boyfriend um you know it's i have nothing against people that do i know you have to do what works for you and your relationship so i know a lot of people um in prison relationships do have open relationships and i do not see anything wrong with that um you have to do again what works for you and in your relationship however i do not you know i'm one of those people where if my heart belongs to somebody i can't share that with anybody else um and you know just thought of somebody aside from adam touching me or kissing somebody else is just not it, it kind of feels like my skin's you know i'm crawling out of my skin so no we do not have an open relationship how do i handle that it's just it is what it is i try not to think about it you know it's just it sucks but you just move on and I joke with people like how do I deal physically with it and um, I work out a lot <laughs> as you all know but you know I just keep myself active and um, release endorphins that way it's just something it is what it is I cannot change it so that's how it goes no big deal um, I love him enough to sacrifice that um, so and, um, let's see do I want children in the future yes and I'm sure that confuses the hell out of so many people because I've gotten a lot, a lot of questions about that. Um, I do want them. However, um, we, as we've discussed in the past, Adam and I don't want to have any, um, you know, we don't want to have children while he is in the federal system, while he's in prison, because we just don't feel, we don't feel that that's fair to a child to bring them into this lifestyle um with daddy in prison for the rest of his life it's just not fair to introduce a child and you know to that again if you think differently in your relationship if that works for you that's absolutely fine it's just you know what we feel what works for us um and so you know i've gotten questions would i adopt um would i possibly you know um utilize like a family member or somebody like that in order for us to um, do that, you know, artificial insemination, which obviously we can't use anything from him because that's not allowed in the federal system. But, you know, if I went to like a sperm bank or something like that, um, and no, the answer is no, we just don't feel like that's appropriate for us in our relationship, the way that it stands right now. Um, so I just hope and pray that one day, you know, that our situation changes and it will be in time for us to naturally have our own children and if that's not the case then it's not the case and it's not in my cards in this lifetime I mean again it's kind of like the conjugal conjugal thing if um, it's one of those things that 
we just, I can't really dwell on it or think about it because it's not going to do anything but make me sad. Um, and, you know, I want Adam to be the daddy of my babies. So I don't feel like I want to go out and have children with somebody else. I just don't feel like that's a need that I need to um, appease or suffice within myself just to have babies. You know, I don't, I want to have babies um, with him and I want to do it the traditional way. So, uh, nothing against anybody that has a different theory or does it a different way. Again, you have to do what works for you. There's no right or wrong way to navigate this lifestyle. It's very, it's, it's non-traditional, you know, it's very, um, unconventional. And so you just kind of have to make the rules up as you go, as long as they work for you and your uh, loved one in this relationship. So if you guys have any, any questions for me whatsoever, I am an open book. I have no problem letting you know how I feel, why I feel this way, why we decide the things that we do. You know, Adam and I are very good at deciding them together and talking things through. And he's amazing for supporting me um, and, you know, giving me everything that I need to get through this. So uh, emotionally. So, um, please feel free if you have any questions, if you have any, um, thoughts, any comments, any advice, anything that you want to know or say or ask, please feel free to comment below. Um, that's it. I think for now I am going to take off this silly hood. I just didn't want you guys to see my disgusting flat, nasty ass hair. It's getting like dirtier by the second. Um, but is well, well, well worth it in the end. I cannot wait to wash it and see what my hair looks like when it's like curly without frizz. Yay! I will uh, keep you updated and posted. So I'm going to go eat. I'm starving. You guys have a great afternoon. Have a wonderful weekend. And I will be back with more thoughts later. Lots of love to you. Bye.